Hey guys, it's the Aussie Arm Wrestler here, and how exciting is the arm wrestling world at the moment? Get up and about, ready, bang! After a huge successful event in Dubai, the pay-per-view bonanza, the arm wrestling world has exploded, and I am super excited. Big shout out to Ryan Bowen, uh, Arm TV, uh, Uncle John, Cobra Rhodes for allowing me both to join their live stream watch parties, etc. Had way too much fun. Go check some of those out if you've got time. But we're here to talk about what is happening in the arm wrestling world right now. And we're starting with the saltiest man in arm wrestling today, Igor Mazarenko. Mate, you are supposed to be a pioneer entrepreneur. You're supposed to get the ball rolling. But you just seem to be far behind on picturing a running race going on and it's the arm wrestling world. And you're that little chubby kid from behind pumping his arms going, Levan, Levan, if you haven't been on any of the social medias, as soon as Devon showed that dominant display that we that all of our minds just lost control, he's ended up getting a bit salty. There was a bit of bit of bitterness in his mouth. He's just a I don't like that. I don't like that. Gets on the old internet and he's posting videos of Devon versus Dennis in their left hand matchup a few years ago. Jumps on, posts a picture of Levan holding the championship belt saying he's the king. Even did a photo of Dennis Leplenkov in the Game of Thrones chair and things like that. He is doing everything to take one big giant smelly shit on Devon's parade, but I don't think the arm wrestling world is biting at all. And in fact, we need to have that match, Devon versus Levan, which I'll get into a bit later on. But Ryan Bowen went and made moves. He just went and texted Levan and just went, go go to Ryan Bowen's channel and check that out. He just went, uh, hey, mate, get to pull Devon? And he went, yeah. So like, PL can happen. Yeah, I guess so. I'll pull him and Michael Todd in the same day. Doesn't seem that hard to make it happen. Hopefully uh, we can get all of that going because that is what has to... uh, I reckon that what has to happen next. If we really want to capitalize on another massive pay-per-view, I know Levan's book to pull Dave Chafee in the top eight, which, you know, let me know in the comments who you think will win that one. But I just think the mouth-watering matchup at the moment was always going to be the winner of Devon and Monster Michael Todd versus uh, Levan. That match needs to happen. Arm wrestling world, we need to gather together and make sure that it happens. Do anything you've got to do. Share a bunch of videos. Hit up Eagle. Get the troll army out there and tell him they really need to make this match happen because that would be the next giant pay-per-view if we really want to move this thing forward. I, I don't think they should be having a match in between. Levan's got Dave Chafee, but we're, we're rocking and rolling on that one. And, and let me know in the comments who you think would win out of Devon and Levan right now. Pancake syrup filled Devon versus Levan in the form that they are both in now. Let me know in the comments who you think would win that matchup. I do enjoy the East versus West. I do enjoy when people jump in my comments and tell me I'm an idiot for making this prediction or that prediction. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So let me know in the comments who's going to win that one. Another thing we need to discuss is what is next for Schoolboy? Now, Schoolboy had another convincing win over Larry Wheels over there. Very, very convincing. But in saying that, like it was Larry Wheels. Like, don't want to take too much away. Schoolboy showed a very dominant display. So it made, you know, he's definitely gone up in the ranks. But where do we fit him in for the next match? Every 6'5", big lad. Is he the school man now? Is he graduated? Does he need another nickname? Hey, jump in the comments. Let me know what the next nickname for schoolboy would be. Very convincing wing, but who should he be pulling next? Is he going to head over? Should he pull over all the Europeans and head over to Zloty? Enter Slotty Tour and pull that way? Or should he come over to... No, come over? I don't live in North America. I live in Australia. But should he come to North America and pull the Canadians and Americans over there? 
Or is he just, or the third option, which is, oh, I'm not sure we should go down this rally, but is he just going to continue to pull other YouTube stars? Juju Mufu wanted to come back to arm wrestling, maybe if you've checked out his content. Just really not sure who would pull. I would love to see a super match format against a genuine uh, arm wrestler, not a, a bodybuilder strongman like Larry that's come over. I want to see schoolboy uh, pull someone. Not too sure yet. I'm going to make another video about that, but let me know in the comments who you think schoolboy should be pulling next. What's next for Monster Michael Todd? What is next for Monster Michael Todd? That man showed an absolute masterclass of uh, how you take a defeat. He just knew he was beaten the way he spoke, the way he handled himself. Shout out to you, Monster Michael Todd. Uh, I hope you bounce back. He, he, he's, a, he's a competitor. He's still got a few big matches, a few money-making matches, and I still think he draws a crowd in, in this one. Who do I think the monster should go and attack? I would love... I'd love to see the Jerry Catarat match. I think that would be the next one. And I think my, my, uh, Monster Michael Chod should just focus on keeping that WAL hammer now because I have a feeling. I have a good feeling. I don't know why I have a good feeling, but I've just got a feeling that WAL is coming back and coming back with an absolute bang. And Monster Michael Todd is the heavyweight champion uh, the hammer holder uh, in WAL. I think he takes that Jerry Cataract match if Devon is uh, preparing for, for Levan. So if WAL comes back at the end of the year, start of next year, I'm booking it. I, I reckon the Monster Michaels, I just builds himself for the Jerry rematch in that one. Oh, it's just going to be nuts. What else have I quite enjoyed? I really enjoyed uh, a little a little tidbit on one of Coach Ray's live uh, chats. They're, they're always inter- uh, they're always interesting. So much so much live streams going on. So much content is going on in the arm wrestling world. Hard to keep up. But I did jump in for a couple of minutes and watch Coach Ray's live stream, and he said he would really love to pull Ryan Bowen, and I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I like that even though they hang out together on the fix and, and are good friends and build a great relationship, it's good that they both want to compete. Now, there's nothing malicious about us all. Pe- people were jumping in the comments and Ryan, um, Coach Ray said would love that match with Ryan Bowen. So I would absolutely want to see those two have a play. I want to see everyone in the fix. Have a round robin fix, including you, Neil Pickup. The four of you just get in there and have a bit of a round robin tournament. Who would win out of Ryan Bowen and Coach Ray? Who would win in the fix? Round robin. They should do that as soon as these uh, borders open up. Guys, uh, also, uh, I mean, the last stages of uh, dealing with YouTube consultants and things like that in order to get monetized. If not, I'll be starting a a new channel. Uh, I'm going to move all the content over. Because, yeah, it's just not happening. I've, I've got so much support. It's blowing me away. But I thought I'd just keep you updated that I might have to start a new channel. And I appreciate if everyone comes over and supports the Aussie arm wrestler. Guys, the, the, the arm wrestling world is going nuts. Let me know what you're excited coming about. We've got June 12th, Eng and Terzi's uh, super matches all going on over there. Tournaments are happening all over the world. We just need to tell me what you're excited about in the arm wrestling world. And as always, ready, bang!